Be sure and tell them Lord Mars sent ya. <laughs> In the 90s, we were just teeny tights. We went to movies and our bikes. We wanted to be DJs, but we were just teeny gals. So we went off to college and we remained. We're bringing you the fever bit by bit Sweetie and sweetie are here to say The Large March sent us partners and hey Hey guys, welcome to the Large Marge Sent Us Podcast, your favorite podcast for two sweetie sisters talking about movies that shaped their childhood. I'm sweetie. And I'm sweetie. A little bonus app, bonus app, bonus app, bonus app for you all. We've really been like churning them out and... Our brain's a little bit mush. So mush. I'm glad tonight we did a we not we, la, 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 pa, tongue tie. Uh, we did not watch a full movie. Nope. We did um, an idea of mine, which was to cover what I hope everyone finally remembers as a great after school TV programming, otherwise known as Disney, Disney Afternoon. Afternoon. Now, was there a theme song for Disney Afternoon or Disney Afternoon? Something like that. <laughs> that's good. I hope that's it. <laughs> like that. Stuck in my head. Uh, uh, so yeah. it was like what time roughly? So this ran, Disney Afternoon ran from 1990 to 1997, and then they the so I remember it being not on the Disney Channel, but actually like on like a lower level channel, like for in Massachusetts, it was like UPN, the UPN or something like that. I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Well, on the thing it said, no, it was I read aired it on, on Disney or Toon Disney. No, I, I read it. it was something UPN was like listed in there. Like <laughs> You're something. obsessed with UPN. It, it's <laughs> like bring it up even, every time. You like don't even think it existed. It was like my entire life. You knew it existed. All of our movies were on there. Like the reruns of Nino or Nino Show No aired there. Like all those. Anyway. anyway. So, uh, 1990-97. So, like, you'd come home from school, and then this was on from like three to five, I believe, mm-hmm. right? Two hours. Yeah. Yep. So it was four different programs, and during the years, they sort of like cycled out different ones. But the ones that we finally remember, and the ones that we watch today, mm-hmm. an episode of each were Gummy Bears, Gummy Bears, Ducktales, Ducktales, and. R- 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 rescue, rescue Rangers, Rangers. Ch- 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 Chip and Dale, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, um, and then as the years went on, some of those cartoons ended. They slot another one, so you might remember fondly um, Tailspin, mm-hmm. Darkwing Duck, mm-hmm. Gargoyles, Gargoyles, Bonkers, Bonkers. Um, televised versions of Aladdin and, and Lion King. Yep. And was that it? I think so. That's one. Well, we like watched this thing that had like all of the, yeah, all the theme things. songs for all of them. Yeah, I think that was probably it. Yeah. So, so fondly, like, I mean, I love cartoons. Who didn't love cartoons? I mean, cartoons are interesting because you grow, you grew up like, at least for us, because there was like Saturday morning cartoons, which was like a totally different thing. Mm-hmm. And that used to, was like almost like the vintage cartoons, right? Was the Saturday morning cartoons? Yeah, it was like Bugs and Tom and it Jerry, was the Looney Tunes, and Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah. Jo- uh, I don't know if they were the like, Yogi Bear, Flintstones. I hated those. But ones. like, we were I, in an interesting like generation where we had like our new cartoons, but then all that vintage stuff was on too. The Jetsons. Yeah, you know so I mean? like we had Looney Tunes, but we also had Tiny Tunes. So it was right. like a, right. a double yeah. cool thing happening. Yeah. So yeah. it was good times. Yeah. It was a great um, time to be a kid. Yeah, I mean, cartoons were the bomb. I just remember like, this is so cliche, like 90s kid, but like you'd like come downstairs and be like, Mom, can I have one of those like little mini boxes of cereal? <laughs> what were they? Like the fun pack or whatever they were called? Uh, Bambi. 
Maybe. And I always chose corn pops. And I can remember like eating corn pops in front of the TV watching my Saturday morning cartoons. And it was did the we best. Have, did we have those that often? The mini boxes? Yeah. Well, that like the mini boxes were dumb. I mean, only not dumb in the sense that, that you got like a real buffet of cereals and you didn't have to commit to like a whole box of corn pops. Good but we like serving bomb through corn pops for kids, kids. Well, or, or well, each, cereal as kids. Well, the problem is that the little boxes, so they for some reason only give you one of the good kind of everyone, maybe because they're more expensive, whatever. But they give you like two of all the gross ones. So there's the always ones? like two raisin fruity, brands. Fruity Prebbles. Are those was those good? I think Fruity Pebbles were okay, but like, yeah, Raisin Bran, always two of those, two of regular cornflakes. No Ew. one wants that. Yeah, right. It did have regular So those are always like the leftover ones. And I just like vividly remember like the little Raisin Brands in the back of the pantry. <laughs> like nobody <laughs> ate them. They were just like That's sad good. there for, oh, yeah. for no, forever. I was always never saw either, them again. Uh, smacks. <laughs> smacks. <laughs> Corn or Pops. Smacks. Cocoa Pops. Smacks. Or Honey, honey Crisp. Uh, wait. Who one was like <laughs> a, a frog, frog was smacks was golden crisp was, was the monkey? bear oh bear okay because okay. like honey yeah, yeah those were good oh yeah but they got um, soggy real yeah, quick yeah those were good i didn't like fruity pebbles i liked um, cocoa, the pebbles. cocoa pebbles were put them like on jam. ice cream yeah mm. or like cocoa the crispies chocolate. yeah cocoa crispies cocoa puffs cocoa puffs were like my <laughs> jam let me just tell you I love this is so what we're talking about here is like my, every saturday i go to the grocery store and i wander down the cereal aisle <laughs> this is t- the today right in, yes in this is life. today every, in real life every saturday i go through this struggle where i like take a stroll down the celery cereal aisle and i'm like which cereal do i want to eat this week and it's so hard because i see all these ones that i loved when i was little and i was like oh, I like those so much like eh. and I always just go with like the regular like I'm on a frosted flakes kick right now I can't explain why but it just is it's just you know it's hard there's a lot of choices out there and uh, I love cereal unless you're a celiac and then walking but, down the cereal aisle makes you sob so hysterically many because are you now, can't eat any so many are now gluten free uh, my only choices I have are checks no 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 go other go back again all the most of the Cheerios except Cheerios for multi-grain. are not they're not I've gotten sick off those they're not technically gluten free lucky charms really I saw that the other day. I don't think I'd eat those. I wasn't as enamored with those as I grew up. Too too sweet. Let me tell you, they turn your poop green, so like, don't eat too many it's of those. Just, it's too sweet. I don't. I like. I would <laughs> eat them dry, wrong. but like, kind of skeeve me out to eat the eat um, Lucky Charms with milk. I just don't like it because I didn't like the oh, sugar coated cereal. If it was chocolate and then it like turned the milk chocolatey, they have that was chocolate fine. Lucky Charms now. Oh, okay. <laughs> game, well, changer. That's a game changer. <laughs> They heard my they heard my cries. They heard my complaints. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this is not about cereal. a podcast about cereal, cereal but it should sweeters. be because that would be pretty amazing. Um, but anyway, okay. so yeah. So today, um, two for this podcast, we watched one episode of each of these just to have like a little refresher, a little refresher. Because mm-hmm. you know, it's been I mean, how old am I? Mm, Thirty years since I, <laughs> let's say twenty seven years since I probably watched some of these. Um, okay, you know what I mean? Sure, I'm old, and. It was really awesome to just be uh, reunited with these amazing cartoons. So, yeah, we started with Gummy Bears, yep. which, okay. Oh, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the end after okay. we, like, okay. sum up. But let's let's give a refresher on the basic crux okay. of Gummy Bears. Um, so, Gummy Bears takes place in medieval times. Medieval times. But people. it's, like, <laughs> fantasy medieval times. Yeah. So, there's ogres and... I didn't see any other creatures. Yeah, it seemed to mainly just be ogres. There might be other ones so, as it goes on. There's dragons, I'm pretty sure. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this, like, mythical legend of the gummy bear, which, unclear of whether the gummy bears are, like, the candy gummy bear. Like, why are they called gummy <laughs> bears if they're not? Like, they bounce like a gummy. And it's G-U-M-M-I, just so you know. Like the trademark candy gummy bears. I thought those were a Y. No, those are an I, I think. Really? No, that's why I like really threw me because and like all the little names of the gummy bears all end in I. So they're like Grammy gummy, blah, blah, gummy. And it's all with an I. And I'm like, that looks so weird to me. All right. You might be. Yeah. I think a gummy bear is a Y. Interesting. Well, Haribo is just gold bears. They're not even called gummy bears. Fuck you, Haribo. Stupid. Those are good gummy um, bears. Yeah, anyways, still confused about that. But anyways, so long ago, the gummy bears roamed the... T- the <laughs> <laughs> the world and had magical powers and like held people out or something so kids grew up learning this legend so there's this like little peasant kids sorry squire page he's a page 
Uh, his name is Cave. Cave. <laughs> <laughs> this was really difficult. So they kept like the first. So we watched the first one. So this is like the introductory gummy bears. That tells you the whole story. And like his little like bitchy friend was like, was like, hey, Kevin. And we're like, what's his name? And we're like, oh, I think it's Kevin. It's basically <laughs> Kevin. And then we're like, Gavin? Like could not hear it. And then Sweetie was like, okay, everyone probably thought that was Kevin. We probably thought it was Kevin. Why would you name someone Kevin? I mean, I'm sure that's like a medieval so name. But how is it spelled? C-A-V-I-N. <laughs> It's just <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, anyways, so Kevin, I'm just gonna call him Kevin. Like, I just, yes, I can't. I'm gonna keep fucking it up. Oh, okay, so Kevin, Kev, little Kev, uh, <laughs> sweet Kev, wants to. He has a crush on the princess Cal- Kala. Kala, um, and he knows that like they can't be together because he's a page. <laughs> they're also ten, <laughs> and they're ten, maybe younger. But he like wants to impress her, so he always he wants to be a hero, as most pages probably do. I don't think anyone aspires to be a page what the hell is a page a servant like a little boy kid that like um like runs after knights and like helps them do things maybe i don't know or like delivers the mail i'm not (laughs) sure mail (laughs) (laughs) the royal mail pony express time okay so so they're in the forest they see some oh they get stopped by ogres Kevin. Oh my God. <laughs> Kevin. It's not that hard. I can't do it. Kevin falls down the hill and like passes out. So the gummy bears, guess what, guys? They're still around. Yeah. There's a little family of them and they take him to their little like tree bungalow house and uh, are like, what do we do? It's a human. I've never seen a human. Ah. So they of course, that. there's that like switch. Like, we're scared. The gummy bears, yeah. like, don't think the gummy bears are real and the gummy bears don't think we're real it's like pretty crazy but remember they notice his little medallion so oh yeah so he's got a little medallion that was his grandfather's and he's just always believed in gummy bears and whatever the asshole guy's name in the beginning like doesn't believe i think a gummy bear gave that to his grandfather that medallion where is our origin story (laughs) of the gummy bears where's the prequel that's what i need yeah um so they spot the medallion they're like whoa this is cool and kevin's cavon Come on, Kevin. I don't understand why this is so hard. I keep being like, come on. <laughs> he's not. He's not. Okay. Fine, you take over. You okay. take over. This okay, synopsis. so, Kevin. So, dear Kevin. So, they're, so Kevin's like, hey, like, we, um, okay, so they find out that the ogres and this, like, weird, what's his name? Duke Igthorn. Really cool names in this show. Um, is, like, going to take over the castle. And he has this giant catapult and he has all these, like, ogres helping him. So finds out that they're going to um, like take over the castle and crush it with this catapult. So he's like, we got to help them. And the gummy bears are like, no way. Like we just, we can't let anyone know we exist. Like that's not our job. Like there was, we don't have any magical powers. And they have this like gummy bear book, which they can't open. And they've never been able to open like their entire existence. Okay. Come on. How did you really try? Like lazy bears. <laughs> it's locked by magic, sweetie. You can't open it. So Kevin's like, fuck you like i'm gonna go help them so he like goes and helps them um but did he like leave the medallion i forget like what happens yeah yeah he, like, so he he threw he the medallion fell, at them. Yeah, oh yeah he's like it. i'm fine like i i'm like you guys are like little old cowardly bears or something he says so he like stomps off and he leaves the medallion with them and they end up like figuring out that the medallion opens their gummy book gummy bear book oh, shit. of like all these spells and they have all these magic spells now so now they can like really do something so um so there's a couple of different bears and it's like kind of weird you don't know like what is the what who's like what is this family yeah, what's because the relationship? this is what it consists of grammy gummy grammy gummy zoomy gummy which is like the wizard one who does like all the magic stuff uh tummy which is like this fat kind of dumb dopey one <laughs> gruffy the cynical like kind of grumpy one and two little kid bears um sunny and cubby so like who where are their parents who are these people like so it's weird like they never really say like how they're related or maybe they're just like the last of the gummy bears like i need this prequel and i need it yeah it's confusing so anyway so they um go and like it ends up being that cabin is like caught by the ogres so they use some magic spells to make one of the bears invisible and then they go and they give Oh, like we forgot the gummy berry juice, like the biggest part of this. <laughs> so they now have the gummy berry, gummy bear book, which has like all these spells and stuff. But before that, they at least had gummy berry juice, which when drank makes them jump really high. 
which you're like, that's a dumb power, but it's kind of cool. bounce. Bounce. Yeah. So they bounce. And, but if humans take gummy berry juice, they get super, super strong, but just for like a second. So it doesn't last very long. Mm-hmm. It's really cute. And they have it in all these like little vials with a cork on it. I always remember that part. They're like, boop. <laughs> and they would like drink it. Um, so anyway, so they give the gummy berry juice to Kevin and then he's able to get strong and like get away from the ogres. Uh, but then there's this like whole scene where they still have to like dissemble the catapult and like defeat Duke Igthorn, and this is like a whole battle. Basically, like Cavan should have died, but he didn't. Like, long story, the catapult crashes into the castle. He survives. <laughs> and it's a kid's show. He's not going to die. <laughs> he really should have died. Like, let's oh. be honest. And the gummy bears were like sad for a second because they're like, oh my God, did Cavan die? Ah. But then he was fine. He's fine. Um, but yeah, and then the as the show progresses, and this there wasn't for a couple years, um, they just have adventures basically all around that, like, Duke Igthorn keep trying to, like, take over the kingdom. Like, so that's like half a new of it. gig, man. All the ogres, you know, those are the bad guys. But it like expands. I know there's like other plots and stuff. But like, yeah, such an adorable show. Mm. Really good. Did you like it? Yeah. Did you feel that, like it was watchable? Yeah, that was very sweet. Um, brought back some memories, mainly of Grammy Gummy. Remember her? She like cooks everything. Figures yep. like the one woman, and then <laughs> the little like butch little girl bear Mm -hmm. who's sunny she has like this cool what is now cool kind of like faux faux hawk hawk style she was pretty cool um kind of thought she was peter pan when i was little like a peter pan bear yeah it's a little still confusing to me now um but yeah i just remember that remember the bad guy like skeeving me out he just was like a mcrapester he reminded me of like captain hook or something well same style. I still don't get like his headgear. Right. So he wears like the th- under armor, <laughs> not under armor, but like <laughs> <laughs> that brand wasn't around. The then. stuff you wear under your suit of armor. So like that, that like a hood and then, but he's not wearing armor. So he's just basically wearing, I mean, is that technically underwear? If it's like <laughs> under the under, I don't know, it, under the armor. Like, let it go. You're not a knight. I don't know. He it's sucks. Fun. And I remember the ogres and there's like that little one. Do we catch his name? The little ogre. I read it, but now I forget what okay. it is. Um, still unsure about like the size proportions mm-hmm. in this show. It seemed like the bad guy was very large at the beginning, and the catapult was massive, even though it was so massive that even the bad guy like only stood up barely to like half the wheel. Yeah. Which I'm like, how did they make this? How is this possible? And then it just keeps changing sizes like throughout the episode. So that was a little shoddy. Um, I think they could have used some some help mm-hmm. in that department maybe with the continuation continuity yeah um funny but yeah, yeah. but overall like very sweet sweet charming i definitely remind me of being little and like eating my snacks and yeah. stuff yeah and I, like i like the medieval times like kind medieval of times it's kind of interesting for a kid show to like set something there so that's pretty cool and i like totally wanted to be princess kala i thought she was really cool and i feel like she did she gets some like good stuff she's in. cool she's but like she needs to brush her hair like a little bit it's like a little frizz uh, but I love her like little like casual braid. Yeah, yeah, that's it's cute. Nice. But there's like, I like it's like dress. puffy on the front, you know. This was medieval times. <laughs> they like didn't even have hairbrushes. Whatever, Calm down. whatever. You're, like would die Sunny's tomorrow. Sunny's hair it looked a very You're not good. gonna worry about frizz. She was a gummy bear. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, good one, good one. Next up, Ducktales. Woo! Oh, we got we got to sing every one of these songs. We'll do that. The, we'll do that at the end. Maybe yeah. we'll do a medley. Um, Because the songs, so I will say, the fucking theme songs for these are like the greatest. And as we brought up for um, the Gummy Bears, when we were talking about something, another episode, and we brought it up, and like this guy does this like Broadway Broadway, Broadway rendition of that song. He just like really goes for it, and I just like really applaud him. But yeah, it's good. So he's auditioning for like (laughs) some major show. Gummy Bears! So good. Um, anyway, so yeah, Ducktales also Ooh, amazing. Yep. Um, um, loose plot. <laughs> you read it, not me. Okay. So Huey, Dewey, and Louie are usually under the care of their uncle Donald. However, Donald leaves them in the care of his uncle. So Huey, Dewey, and Louie's great uncle Scrooge McDuck, while whilst Donald Duck goes off to join the U.S. Navy. Uh, pretty typical. <laughs> pretty typical Donald move. <laughs> um, so they are hanging with their un- their great uncle, who they call Uncle McDuck. Wait, Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge. Uncle Scrooge. Right. And he's Scottish, and he has a lot of money. 
his one goal in life is to get more money. So he takes his nephews on several adventures to get more gold, basically, yeah. and like runs into villains and blah, blah, blah. Often they are put into dangerous situations because of Scrooge McDuck's like gold fever, which I am dubious is, is, is that a thing? Because I think he's just, he's just faking Well, that it. was just that one we watched. I don't think, I don't know. No, it said that was the the a common Does plot it? theme. Oh, it's always like he gets okay. the gold fever yeah. and has to like get it. So we watched this one called like, I don't know if it was called gold fever, but they're like in some like Amazon, like, or like the Mexico, like Aztec mm -hmm. kind of scenery. And he's going for this like Incan Mayan temple or whatever with all this gold and like fighting against this Spanish. Pick a country, sweetie. Beagle dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always forget Aztec and Mayan. Mexico. One is Mexico and one is another is. I think they're both Peru. Mexico. No, no, no. Incas are Peru. Yeah. Yeah. Aztec, Incas, Mayans. Okay. Well, then you should look that up. Um, that always confuses me. Um, anyway, so yeah, so That's, they're like Aztecs are Mexican too. Okay, Incans and Mayans. Wait, Incas <laughs> and Aztecs are Mexican. <laughs> no, Incans are <laughs> Peru. Peru. Mayans, Mayans and, and Aztecs, Aztecs are Mexico. Are Me Got it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he's like trying to, and he's like battling against this beagle dog guy who's like a Spanish beagle dog guy. And they are like vying for this gold and then the gold disappears anyway. So he had like gold fever and he was like all crazy about the gold, but then kind of like snaps out of it. And he's like, oh man, I got to like take care of these little kids. But then who is Webigail? The little the granddaughter one. of the nanny. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then at this one, there was this little nanny named like um, Ma Beaky or something. Nanny, <laughs> Mrs. Beakley. Mrs. Beakley is like sweet little nanny. And then she has a granddaughter named Webby, full name Webigail. It's adorable. Um, she was super cute. Um, I like this one, but the, I think the episode we watched like wasn't that good. And it was also like annoying to watch it because we were like, it was this tiny little part yeah. of like a screen in YouTube. Um, how to get around the copyright issue. Huey doing Louie's voice like bug the well, shit it, out it, of me. Well, that's what I was saying. It may have been like sometimes with those YouTube videos, they're trying oh, to get around the copyright. Was, they speed it up. Everyone else so was they, the same. Maybe. I don't know. As I remembered it. Yeah. I mean, the, it was very annoying. But I do remember loving that show a lot. Yeah. But really, I mostly remember the video yes. game that we had, which was the DuckTales video game, which so was good. for regular Nintendo. Yeah. I think it was. It was uh, Wait. I'll look it up. Yeah. But it was sure. hard as fuck. Yeah. And I just remember fighting that like vampire duck lady. Yes, yes. And then um, swimming Scrooge, in the gold. Swimming in the gold. But Scrooge had that like pogo stick yep, cane, yep. which you had to like balance on everything yeah. with. Oh god! And then I think they re-released it so you can play it like oh, on cool. your current things. And I was gonna play it, but ah, um, super cool. Yeah. No, I, I mean I like this one. I just think this wasn't like the greatest episode. But like Scrooge is pretty cool. I really like him. Like the accent is like the bomb. Oh yeah. And I love, there's like launch pad. I don't know if you remember, he has this like pilot friend of his who like must like fly him on all the adventures. And he's like this giant duck with like an aviator, like Charles Lindbergh kind yeah, of like outfit. Story? And his name is launch pad. Pretty funny. Uh, and he reminds me of like Andy from Parks and Rec or something. He's like some <laughs> big dumb <gasps> like play brute. him in the remake. And I was thinking like, why isn't there a live action of DuckTales? Well, they just re-released, they just did a remake of DuckTales. Oh. So... That's exciting. Sad. And I heard that it, like it's really good for some. Uh, oh, is it? I guess. Cool. Um, the Abed from Community like does it, mm -hmm. who is one of my favorite characters. But I'd like to check it out sometime. Yeah, we should do that. Uh, yeah. Rewatch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So good. It was pretty good. Um, decent. Yeah. Um, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Uh, yep, and then finally, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Ch -ch 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 -chip and Little did Dale. I know, short-lived, only was one season. Well, how many were all these other ones? I think a couple years. They ran from 90 Gummy to Bears 97. Gummy Bears had like five seasons. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah. I mean, for cartoons, I guess that's like pretty yeah. good. But, oh my God, I love Chip and Dale so much. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've always been like a mystery gal. And like, even though I hate rodents in real life, like I thought... Chip and Dale were adorable. I do like chipmunks, though. It's mice and rats that I can't stand. But there are mice and rats in them. Yes, and they're very adorable. Yes. So, yeah. So, Chip and Dale start a detective agency, and <laughs> they hire, or they, like, um, uh, what is that called? <laughs> like, gets, recruit. They yeah. recruit 
uh, this big feller by the name of, <laughs> what is his name? Monterey again? Jack. Monterey Jack, who's a rat. <laughs> he's a rat? I think so. Okay. He's from Australia and like his whole family got like killed or something oh, and he comes <laughs> when, when did that happen that's what it said oh, the God. wikipedia or like Poor something Monterey happened Jack. he reminded me of tom Selleck. he looks just like him which is funny because dale's wardrobe is modeled after magnum pi yeah. like the hawaiian oh, shirt yeah. and then chip is indiana jones yeah. so that's kind of neat um yeah so there's him there's like this little fly companion zipper who's monterey's jack's uh buddy and then um gadget mm-hmm. is her name yep is like this teeny little mouse who uh, makes their planes and like their gadgets that they She's fly the around in, which is pretty great because hello STEM girls, yeah, get into it. Yeah, she was awesome. She's a role model. I feel like this is why I never had problems with like believing that girls couldn't do everything. Well, we just <laughs> brought up all these examples of cartoons with like really cool girl <laughs> characters. I know. So that's great. So maybe that's why yeah. we have such we had such good outlooks. Yeah. Um, on the situation, but. Uh, so yeah, so they kind of just, just, they just go around to solve, they solve kind of like not mysteries, but they go on adventures to like save other animals. Well, well, the whole theme of this is if you listen to the theme song, sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gum shoes are picking up the slacks. So they're supposed to do like, I think they're almost all animal centric. They help out other animals, right? And it's, like, stuff that, like, the police can't figure out. They're, like, the smart ones. These, like, little mice kind of getting into the cracks there. Um, but, yeah, they're fucking adorable. I've always had a crush on Chip. Kind of similar to my crush on Alvin. I don't know what is up with that. Basically same voice. They're hot. They're really Very similar like voice to Alvin, though. To me. Yeah. Um, and then, like, so, I, and, like, obviously Chip and Dale is, like, a very old Disney mm-hmm. cartoon thing twin brothers you have hot chip and then you have like poor dale with like his like drunk nose and like bad wh- teeth. why is his nose yeah and chipmunk teeth and like dale's, a, mo- dale's a model though, i like, mean i feel really so bad <laughs> chip's a model chip's a model <laughs> <laughs> he just called him ugly you're like he's a model confusing um <laughs> chip is the model yeah, yeah, dale yeah. is I just, like I know. sad oh, dale just needs a little dentistry a little orthodontic i think he's on the he's spectrum fine. oh no I thought he was charming and sweet, though. He's he's very funny. He'll be charming and sweet, but he's just like. (laughs) So the one we watched is called, um, three men and a booby. Men and a booby, but gadgets of woman. So I find that offensive. So no, but it was about the men stepping up because remember, like, they were like she was uh, like she's like okay. So we have to go over this plot a little bit. So they're at the grocery store getting nuts and supplies. And this booby, like fly, booby, which is a bird, flies into the grocery store and is like, where's my egg? Where's my egg? And it's like looking for its egg and all the egg cartons. So they're like, what's wrong? And she tells them this story about how she was like on a cliff and she laid her egg and then she like went to go find something to eat or something like that. And then this helicopter came and stole her eggs. So stole her baby. And she's like on the lookout for it. So she had like attached herself to the helicopter and like went as far as she could, but she needs help tracking down like where this person who stole her egg is. And so they track it down to this house of this crazy guy who looks like an egg. Yep. Pretty much. Um, And he's obsessed with eggs and has a whole collection. So he just collects eggs, steals them from nests and then like puts them in this room. So they figure it out, they take the egg, and then they end up leaving the mama booby because she like provides a distraction so they can run away at the egg. So then they bring the egg back and they're like, Okay, like we have to go back and get the mama booby, but like Gadget, the little girl inventor, uh girl m- mouse inventor, is gonna have to like make s- a, some contraption to get them back in there. So she's like, Okay guys, I'm gonna make this, but someone else is gonna have to look after the egg. And so they're they're all men and they're like, Not us, oh no. So it was like totally like a <laughs> gender kind of story. Uh-huh. I get it now. But then they really like take on the responsibility. It's adorable. Sweet. So it was three men and a booby. I get it. So yeah, so the egg hatches and then they go back and rescue the mom and then they get out and then the egg collector had all like a ton of eggs in his house and they turned the heat up at the end then all the eggs hatched into these little baby birds but then we don't know where they went after that they didn't have moms i was very concerned i thought they were gonna go and maybe like follow me and like take them back to the headquarters or no and they would find all the moms somehow i don't know it seems <laughs> bleak i don't know i'm sad i'm like really sad about it also what about the eggs didn't they like throw some eggs at the bad guy at the end and they oh smashed? those were like cooking eggs 
those weren't those weren't ones that like yeah oh, those are just regular I didn't eggs know they were different ones yeah no because he remember he ate all the food with eggs he ate like hard boiled eggs and omelets and like all he would eat is eggs were all the birds boobies no they're all rare birds from all oh, over the world oh jeez gun hassle okay so, so that was that super, super cute. cute and i feel like this show probably is what is responsible for giving you a love of small things yeah so oh the tiny hats <laughs> forget it well there's that and then if like all of their equipment is basic like home good yeah. things like their plane is like a tube of toothpaste <laughs> like super fucking cute with I just, a balloon with like a balloon them it's just it's their, their headquarters is like a cute. mailbox in a tree. It's Ugh. yeah, it's really sweet. And like they have all these cute little like hat, like I said, like little hats, depending on like what they're doing, like what little adventure they're going on. Um, Monterey Jack has like a loungewear sweatsuit that he like wears off duty. Kind of adorable. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, cute show. Kind of bummed and really didn't realize it only ran for that like short amount of time. Um, but very clever and like i think the one i enjoyed the most today i'm gonna say okay popular opinion what do you think um uh i'd like to watch another episode of ducktales um just to make sure that i am positive in my decision but for the most part i guess well, i i, I agree the with beginning you of that one too we know you just story. weren't paying attention no, it's well, just they were just like there? into it immediately uh, they're just like on another adventure it was episode five so it wasn't like oh, okay. the pilot yeah the pilot. Uh, <laughs> well, usually I remember it always like starting at their house, and then like something would happen. Mm, I thought, and I don't then think like because so. they, they played away. the theme song, and then it just started. Yeah, um, it's like a weird YouTube video. It's probably bunk, <laughs> maybe. Um, but yeah, I guess ultimately, probably I would also pick Grocery Rangers. I do love the gummy bears, although I'm not a hundred percent sold on the medieval timeline. Yeah. I don't know, and I need. I don't know. I need more comedy, I guess. <laughs> like Chippendale really provided that. Yeah. For yeah. Me. It seemed like Gummy Bears was like a little too young for us. I mean, I know we're like very old now, but even like we still have kids, kids humor, right? And like you can get it. And it reminded and me. And that seemed a little dumbed down. And it also reminded me, reminds me of the Care Bears. Mm, yeah. Which is like grumpy. Hello. Yes, grumpy bear. Yes, me too. Me too. Bear. But Come that, on. wait, Care Bears isn't Disney though, is it? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's off brand off-brand cartoon um yeah when i was looking at their faces i got really nostalgic for the care bears um so but yeah but it was like kind of dumb comedy and like the whole thing with like the trolls or the ogres or whatever you know like talking kind of like funny like that mm -hmm. i don't know i was just like that's like that's been done <laughs> <laughs> well maybe they did it first <laughs> I, I don't know, know. Yeah, but like still super cute and I like to know what other like adventures they are. But it did make me feel very cozy for sure. I mean, just reminded me of hmm. like my but my really nice night guns I used to have and like my corn pops. Did you know that the Care Bears originally were just greeting cards wow. drawings? Weird. And they turned into That's a whole empire whole thing. Pretty I thought I had one of the gummy bears. I thought I had Cubby. Oh, I thought it was Didn't I, I would have Cubby Sunny. I think no, you had Sunny. I didn't like love Sunny. She's too like. Oh yeah, you did have Cubby. I had Cubby, and I confused it with Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, it wasn't that. But he was like was bright. Totally he was cubby. bright pink, and he was a girl bear. I mean, he was pink, but he was a boy, which was kind of cool. <laughs> Gender bending. But then Whoa. they had those like weird costumes that were like those sort of like medieval timesy like weird yeah. floppy hats and like striped mm -hmm. stuff. I don't know. Hard it's to like medieval costume yeah costume yeah I, I, I need more info on those gummy bears i'm just like really confused <laughs> the canadian animation studio that did care bears is called nelvana oh interesting yeah. oh god i love that canadian movie. care bears movie so good so we have to good. cover that um yeah. so yeah so the theme song so gummy bears we talked a little bit about this yep. the guy fucking owns it yep um so fucking good we'll play some are hopefully are at the end or the beginning that? sure okay. um bounce Oh, the whole song? Magic and mystery are part of their history, along with the secret of gummy berry juice. Magic <laughs> is flowing. Da, dun, 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 dun. They'll fight for the right, whatever they do. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventures that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. They are the gummy <laughs> bears. I love that part. He like freaks out. It's so good. It's a, good song. It's it's a, a good really song. good song. Um, um, so there's that one. DuckTales is like a little, um, it's like really snappy. 
and then I forget <laughs> like the beginning dun, goes. Dun, 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 dun. Here in Duckburg, race cars, dun, dun, airplanes, dun, dun, it's a dun dun. That's not a mystery <laughs> or rewrite history. Ducktails, woo! Everywhere that I can take you, Ducktails, woo! So good. The, the, the danger looks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. What you do, just grab onto some ducktails. Woo! It's so funny when we were watching the like YouTube video of like every Disney afternoon show. They just played all the theme songs, and as soon as this one started, we got so fucking excited. <laughs> we were like, "Oh shit!" We had and a we- dance party. <laughs> To Disney <laughs> afternoon theme songs. It was like the highlight it's of my week thus far. It's such a good song. It was so fun. So, um, so it's that one. And yep. then the Rescue Rangers, yep. which you sang a little bit already in yeah. the beginning. But sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks. But these two gum shoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. If you need help, just call Ch 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 Chip and Dale. Rescue Ring Ch 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 Chip and Dale. Da na 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 na. So the guy that really did emotional that one. <laughs> the guy that did that song is also the guy that did the Ducktales one. So he obviously, I'm assuming he's very rich. Um, now just living off those royalties. <laughs> those are great songs. So good. I mean, were they nominated for Grammys? I need to know. They're just <laughs> classics. Really brought me back. Um, and then we didn't talk about the, or didn't watch this one, but the Darkwing Duck one was also mm. amazing. It was like a really brought me back to my like days of listening to the Boomerang soundtrack, like on repeat. <laughs> That just like, uh, it's just like high energy kind of R&B. It's like <laughs> really good. Really into it. Um, but yeah, sweet little, sweet little couple nuggets we, we watched, you know? Feel good about it. Yeah. Yeah. I felt this. I had a horrible commute here and it really brightened up that dark cloud that had descended on me because of the orange line in the MBTA. So mm-hmm. thank you, Disney Afternoon. Thank you. <laughs> and I wish it well I mean maybe is it still around I don't know is there an equivalent Disney afternoon thing now hmm. I mean they just play stuff I'm in just the not afternoon. completely thrilled I've watched some cartoons as kids now watch them and they're like too nice and they're like they're so transparently trying to teach lessons that it's like really kind of annoying right it's like okay like it's just so heavy handed hmm. why do they have to be so heavy handed why can't kids just have fun I think they think that they need that now. I mean, it is good to have like a show with two mommies or something. And no, no, I'm not. I mean, that that stuff is fine. I'm all about diversity and like all that stuff. I mean, this is like, I mean, these are all like animal. All these ones were animal ones too. There's no like people ones. Uh, but I'm thinking like Doc McStuffins, a cute show. I don't know if you've ever seen that. But like everyone has like a little lesson to it. Yeah, about like sharing or this or that, and it just seems like. I don't know. I just feel like these ones were just not very like heavy handed like that. You know what I mean? Mm, I guess. mean, but I also feel like we learned lessons like that from like real experiences. I Maybe they, they feel that like kids are just like so heavily ingrained in technology. I think some shows like stuff. definitely did. And we'll do more like, I mean, well, we haven't done any of the Nickelodeon cartoons that we mm-hmm. loved. David the Gnome. <laughs> oh God, that theme song. Can't wait. So good. Um, what else do we do on on Nickelodeon, or the other one? Doug, Rugrats. Uh, Doug, Rugrats. Yeah. Well, those were a little older, but like Rocco. Oh. oh. Like um, youngy ones. Um, Maya the Bee. Was that Maya, Nickelodeon? Maya. Maya the Bee. Bee. Do you want to watch The Elephant Show? Do you remember that? that Sharon, part? Lois, and Bran. Oh. Sweetie was obsessed with it. <laughs> I kind of was too. We had the tape, and I like wore that shit out. <laughs> Sharon Lewis and Brand. The monkey song on the bed. Yeah, it's my Ten favorite. On the bed and said, that, if you don't remember, is the skin of a rinky dinky dink, skin of yeah. a rinky do. Which, remember I was at a party and yeah, I, like, I was, there was too. like telling we somebody. Were both there. And the kid like knew about it. No, and, I, and I, we did it for him and he was really surprised that we knew what it was. Who was he? that? Oh, no, it was Maddie at Liz's when Liz was here. Our like cousin Matt. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good one, good one. Yeah. She um, was shocked. She's like, you know, Skinamarinky Dinky Dink. <laughs> I'm like, do I? <laughs> like, Duh, bitch. I created Skinamarinky <laughs> Dinky Dink. <laughs> no, you didn't. You ain't Lois. You ain't Sharon. Well, yeah, that so was wait, really good. So wait, Sharon, Lois, and Bran. Din? No. <laughs> but that's the Goonies name. Was it Bran with an M? No, Sharon, Lois, and Bran. I think it was Bran. Well, let's look it up. 
I think they were sure. Canadian too. Okay. Man, the Canadians got all the good stuff. Uh, um, and Bram got it. Oh, it was Bram. <laughs> Shit. Are they Canadian? Uh, yep. Yep. Um, Raffy. Raffy. Also, no, wait. what was the guy like? Fred <laughs> Teller. He was my favorite. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't like Raffy. Happy Feet. I didn't like Raffy. Was a happy I feet liked guy, right? this guy. So there's all these like white dudes with guitars, right? Who would sing all these like little folk songs, and that was like Oliver Nickelodeon too. Of course, when you search for Happy Feet, only that Penguin movie yeah. comes up. Fuck. Fred T- Pen. Fred Teller. Mm. Fred Pen. Mm, Quincy Jones. No. Uh. You have to go to Happy Feet disamb- Disambiguation. Hmm. Uh, I can just put the lyrics in. Happy Feet. Give them a low down beat and they begin dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Good I thing I know the lyrics. Got those Happy, happy feet. feet. All right. Give them a okay. Low down beat. Well, see, okay. See, it was like an old song that this that guy adopted. So it was like originally by like Cab what Calloway. What is that guy's name? I, it won't, doesn't have it because it just what? has all the original stuff. What the fuck? Kermit the Frog did a version. This person did a version. There's a lot of versions. I don't know. Fred Nickelodeon. Here, this looks like it. No. Oh my God. That was just some idiot snapping their feet. What the fuck? Ah, I give up. Anyway, so... That was one of my favorite songs, though. Yeah, I wasn't into Raffi. I was into that. Um, such a good time. Such a good time to be a kid. Just a lot Fred of- Penner. <laughs> it's Fred Penner. Also Canadian. Okay, okay why was Nickelodeon the- so Canadian? I don't know. He had what? his own show? What? Did he have his own show, or did he just, like, sing? Did they, like, just play, like, the video of him I singing I think he had his song? own show. Because huh. they would, or, like, play his little concerts or something. Fred Penner's place. That was it. Yes. Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay. Remember? He, he's like uber creeps. Yes. But he looks like the dad from Family Ties. He does. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was creepy. Oh Is it God. the dad from Family Ties? <laughs> okay. We'll play Weird. this after. Maybe we'll cover this later. Yeah. But yeah. Like such good stuff. So we'll do a Nickelodeon version of this as well. But um, this was a fun. This so is our fun. first cartoon, too. Cartoons. First bonus cartoon, but we haven't done a movie cartoon yet. So we have like, Chipmunks Adventure. Hello, oh God, I'm forgetting it because it was like our second episode. Hello, Gone. that's nuts. Silly. Uh, okay, anyway, guys. Well, cool. Hope you enjoy. Thanks Hope you watch Disney Afternoon and it made your day. Come and find us on Twitter at the Sweetie Club and on Instagram at Large Marge Santos. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Ducktails. Woo. <laughs> Dashing and daring, courageous and caring, faithful and friendly, with stories to share. All through the forest they sing out in chorus, marching along as their song fills the air. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High invention that's beyond compare. Along with the secret of gummy berry juice The legend is growing, they take pride in knowing